What's up travelers, welcome back to the channel. SJ Aviation HQ coming at you with another video for us today. Today we have the model review of the Qatar Airways Retro Livery in the, on the Boeing 777-300ER by JC Wings. Before we go any further into today's video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to show your support moving forward in this on this video and of course the, the future of the channel. And of course, if you have, haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like the content of model plane reviews, airport updates, unboxings of, of model aircraft and other great stuff in, in, involving the hobby of model collecting, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as mentioned. And of course, while you're there, then that bell icon to be, to be notified when videos go out on this channel. I have a great, a great bunch of videos coming up very, very soon. Just need to film them and get them out for you guys, including the likes of the uh, the model review of the ITA Airways A350-900 by Aviation 400. Um, the model review of the my new my newest model, the Air Greenland Airbus A330 Neo by JC Wings, uh, the American 777 by NG Models, um, and of course the C5 Galaxy by J Gemini 200. Stay tuned for that. I am I am so pumped to get getting that video out for you guys. I know it has been a while since I last um, filmed a video for you guys and and um, uploaded it. But um, I am hoping to start ramping up the filming and the editing and getting, getting video, videos for you guys um, out for you guys, that is. So moving forward into today's video before going ahead and showing you the box you can see in front of you. I'm going to read out some information about Qatar Airways as an airline and a bit of information about this aircraft as an airframe. So founded on November the 22nd, 1993, Qatar Airways is the flag carrier airline of Qatar. Headquartered in Qatar, in the Qatar Airways Tower in Doha, the airline operates to over 150 international destinations across Africa, Asia, Europe and the Americas. That of course includes North and South America. And of course Oceania, so um, of course they fly to Australia and of course New Zealand as well. Uh, all from its main hub at, at Doha Hamad International Airport. According to Planetsbuilders.net, Qatar Airways has an aircraft fleet consisting of 254 aircraft, including 92 of the Boeing 777s. That includes 9 of the, of the Dash 200 LRs, 57 of the Dash 300 ERs, and 26 of the 777 freighters. All with an average fleet age of 9.6 years. On October the 30th, 2013, Qatar Airways became the 10th member of the of the um, airline alliance of called One World. Uh, Qatar Airways' CEO Akbar Al Bakar is a, the, a chairman of um, the One World Alliance. Uh, surprise, surprise. Going into some information about this aircraft now, the aircraft's MSN number or manufacturer serial number is three six zero one zero. This aircraft's line number is 731 because this, this aircraft was the 731st triple seven to roll off uh, the production line at Boeing. This aircraft is a Boeing 777-300ER with it, uh, specifically a 3 Delta Zulu ER because Delta Zulu is the Boeing customer code for Qatar Airways built aircraft. Of course Boeing aircraft that have been delivered to Qatar Airways or Qatari Airlines. Uh, this aircraft performed, performed its first flight on July the 9th, 2008. This aircraft, as of today, is 15.2 years old. This aircraft wore the test registration of November 5016 uh, Romeo. That's November 5016 Romeo. And was built and produced at Everett Painfield, just north of Seattle. And this airframe is currently active on the, on the network of Qatar Airways. Uh, the, the, the registration of this aircraft that, that we're looking at today is Alpha 6, sorry, it's Alpha 7 dash Bravo Alpha Charlie. Of course, Alpha 6 is, is the prefix code for um, the United Arab Emirates, my bad. Alpha 7 is for, or for Qatar. As mentioned, this aircraft is a Boeing 777-300ER, uh, of course, Delta Zulu ER. This aircraft was delivered to Qatar Airways on, on August the 29th. 2008 and is currently equipped with two General Electric GE90-115 Bravo engines. Uh, this aircraft is nicknamed Freya 
it was uh, Fr Fr Friaya, I'm not sure if, if I've uh, pronounced it correctly, um, uh, but I do apologise if I haven't. And this aircraft is currently um, in the retro livery, the 25th anniversary um, retro livery, and was painted into this livery in Toulouse, France, during uh, February of 2022. I, do, I did like how this aircraft was uh, painted in Toulouse, uh, a Boeing aircraft being painted in Toulouse. Um, of course, Toulouse is where Airbus is based in. So let's go ahead and check out this box before going ahead and checking out the model in t on its own. As you can see, it is in the new the new style of boxes for uh, JC Wings. Very cool. But here on the top left corner, we have the Qatar Airways logo with the retro emblem there. Very cool. Here we have the 25th um, anniversary, uh, sorry, anniversary uh, logo there. Very cool where it says uh, 25 years of excellence. Here we have, I believe this says Qatar Airways in Arabic. Starting off from the left hand side we have the, um, the Boeing emblem there. Very cool. Here we have, it says JC Wings. Very cool. And of course here we have the Qatar uh, retro emblem there of the Oryx um, animal there. On the bottom we have in silver titles we have the Boeing 777-300ER in the Boeing font. And there we have the 2D rendering of the Qatar Airways 777, very cool indeed. It is, it, this um, 2D rendering is uh, of a 300 uh, variant. I'm not too sure, but uh, the wings look a bit flat there to be the right wing tip, but I could be just being picky there. Here we have where it says uh, the 777 in the Boeing font, and then we have uh, a die-cast model air aircraft model in one-to-one -one scale. On the bottom panel, we have the Qatar Airways retro emblem there and the logo. Uh, die-cast aircraft model, one-to-one -one scale, 777. Here we have the 777. 300 ER titles in the barcodes. Of course, the this one is for the flaps down configuration. This one that I'm reviewing today is the flaps up configuration. Here we have a bit of the same Qatar Airways uh, retro emblem here, and some more decaling that we've seen before on this box. Very cool. On the top is identical to the bottom panel, and then on this side, I would say it's identical to the other side we just saw. Very cool. On the back panel, however, we have some differences here. Here we have the, uh, again, we have the Qatar retro logo there. 25 years of excellence emblem there. Qatar Airways in uh, Arabic. But here we have where it has the, the, um, the diagrams here. Or the, you know, the diagrams of where it's uh, the side, side on view. And of course the top view. Very cool. I do like how it has this. Um, on it, um, a nice look of the right wing tips there of the triple seven on the top view. On the bottom here, we have the specifications of the aircraft. Um, I do believe this this style of boxes is um, taking over the orange boxes we used to see by JC Wings, which unfortunately means the end of that little uh, plaque that used to be in the boxes. I, I did quite like how JC Wings did that. It was it was a nice. Um, Collector's item for our uh, collectors to have. But here we have where it has like uh, the overall length of the aircraft and the wingspan, the height, and of course the engine type. All the measurements in the metric unit uh, over the imperial measurement. That of course being like feet and knots and whatnot. Uh, but overall, a very nice looking box. It's my um, my I think it's what uh, I think it's my second box by. Um, JC Wings in terms of this design. I do have the uh, the T-Way Air A330-300 that recently arrived into my collection. If you, anyone is wanting to um, want me to film the, the model review of that aircraft, do let me know in the comment section below. Do let me know if you've got this model yourself and what you think of it in the comment section below as well. I do, would like to hear your opinions of the model. I also have, as I mentioned before, the, uh, the Air Greenland. A330-300, so the 800neo by uh, JC Wings. 
Um, I did do the model review of the Phoenix version of the Air Greenland. Go ahead and check it out in the top right corner right about now. Um, I am hoping to do a comparison video of the two because um, I recently did a live stream of the unboxing of it on Instagram. Go ahead and check out all of my um, my links via the uh, scanning the QR code on the screen now to be led to all of my um, my links. Um, but yeah. Um, I recently did a, a live stream on Instagram comparing the two. The Phoenix one is very, very dull red, but the JC Wings one is a very vibrant red. So hopefully I, I can do the, um, the a comparison video for you guys. But that is the information out of the way um, in terms of this video. Um, and of course the showcasing of the box. So let's go ahead and check out the model. And here is the absolutely stunning Qatar Airways retro livery on the Boeing 777-300ER by JC Wings. Looking absolutely gorgeous indeed in this livery. Uh, now in this portion of the video I'm going to be showcasing the model up close to the camera for you guys. Giving you an up close imagery of the details on this aircraft. And giving you some intel about what each of those components do for the event of a flight. Let's go ahead and dive in straight into the model review. First and foremost, going to zoom in for you guys. Hopefully, I, can, I don't have any issues with the focusing, but here we go. Starting off with the front of the aircraft, here we have in the middle of the shot, we have the nose cone. Underneath that is the, uh, the weather radar. Now, that is used to detect storms along the flight path of a flight to give the pilots an, a visual indication of rainfall intensity and the possible possibility of turbulence ahead of them uh, on their flight path. Um, this is this enables the crew to navigate around any potential hazardous uh, areas along the flight path that they have assigned for their flight plan. That's some information for you there. There is the uh, the couple window there outlined very nicely in the in the grey lines there. Very cool. Underneath here we have the just there. Above my thumb there, that is Arabic for uh, Freya, the the um the Arabic name for or the nickname of this aircraft. Very cool. On the other side, it should be in English. We'll have a look in the, at that in a moment. But in the middle of the shot now, we can just make out the pedo tubes. That is used to measure fluid flow velocity for the flight. Very nice indeed. Now at the bottom of the aircraft here, in the middle of the shot, we can just make out the landing gear. At the top we can see the landing gear door with the letters AC or Alpha Charlie. That is the last two di digits of the registration which of course is Alpha 7 dash Bravo Alpha Charlie or A7 dash BAC. For those that aren't too familiar with the phonetic alphabet. And then below that we have the gear strut and of course the, the, land, the nose gear which you can see is freely rolling. Very nice indeed. Here we have the L1 boarding door, that is one of the two main boarding doors for the aircraft, of course the other one is right here, this is the L2 boarding door, of course the letter, the letter uh, sorry my bad, the letter L for in the L2, L1, L3 and L4, the the, uh, the doors on this aircraft uh, is representing the word left, and of course this is the left hand side of the aircraft. And the rock, uh, immediate right diagonally corner there, uh, just in the middle of the shop, you can see the One World logo there. Of course, um, one, uh, Qatar Airways was the 10th member of the Airline Alliance, joining in on October the 30th, 2013. Uh, so 10 years this year, so that's very nice to know. And here we have the Qatar Retro, uh, sorry, the Retro, um, uh, text there and of course we have Qatar, uh, the Qatar Airways in Arabic there. Here we have the, just in the shot here, we can just make out the the uh, the pedostatic system there. That is used to determine the aircraft airspeed, mark number, altitude and altitude trend in the, in the action of a flight. Very cool. Moving down here at, on the top of the aircraft, we can just make out the SATCOM there, or one of the two SATCOMs on top of this aircraft. And then we have the, the, the first antenna 
Here is the beacon light on the top of the aircraft here. Very cool. Nice to know that JC Wings puts beacon lights on the top of the aircraft. MG models don't for some reason on their wire bodies. So uh, nice to know that they do that. Here we have in the middle here we have the landing light or the wing light. That is used during the flight uh, below 0 to 10,000 feet of course when the aircraft is in the motion of a takeoff. Or in landing, um, it, the, the pilots are required to put the landing the, the, uh, sorry, the landing lights um, on uh, uh, once they enter the 10,000 feet threshold. Um, it's also on when, the, when it's on the runway, and of course the strobe lights we will see in a moment are, are required to be turned on when on the runway because it is the active runway, right? Um, so very cool. Here we have this side GE90 engine. This of course is engine number one with the fan blades there. Very cool indeed. And then moving down we can see the the nicely detailed wing here looking absolutely fantastic indeed. Here's the right wing tip. One of my favourite components on the 777 wing in terms of the 300ER and the 200LR and of course the freighter. Just in the middle of the shot, if I can get them into the shot, just in there. Just trying to focus on it for you guys. Just there, we can see the red navigation light. Now the strobe lights aren't on the wing, um, so it would be to the right hand side, sorry, the left hand side of, of the navigation light. They are flashing lights, as I mentioned. They are uh, they are supposed to be turned on. Once the aircraft is, or any aircraft in the aviation industry enters a live runway. So that's uh, something for you guys to know. And there is the right wing tip on, on this wing, looking absolutely fantastic indeed. Now the thing with the 777-300ER is that it has this uh, the emergency exit doors. Um, sorry, the lines on the wing here. That is a good indication of knowing whether, whether it is a 300ER or not when looking at it from a, 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 top, a top view like this because um, I don't think the 200ERs or the freighters have this sort of markings on the wing also the um, the black lines you can see there I believe that they are sort of borders so people don't cross over the top of the uh, over the um, the engine here because of the jet the jet wash that would go over it. of course the, uh, the vortex that would go over the um, the engines in the flight but I don't know why anyone would be on the wing during the, the event of a flight um, so that's very cool underneath here we have the landing gear as you can see they do roll off I can just focus on it for you guys here you go as you can see they do tilt and they do roll very cool quite unsure about why MG models haven't hasn't released this model yet they have released a lot of Qatar Airways aircraft in the past. They haven't released this one yet, which is the reason why I got the JC Wings version. Here we have on the side of the engine here, we can just make out the 25th uh, anniversary markings there, as seen on the box earlier in the video. 25, uh, 25 years of excellence, very cool, with the GE90 um, 115 Bravo engine, uh, the second largest um, jet engine in the world, second only to the Gen X, um, sorry, uh, the GE9X on the 777X family now. Here we have the L4 door on this aircraft, more used in the event of emergency nowadays, or in general, uh, uh, when on the ground or in water, the a, a slide will come out, and the people would evacuate um, on that slide. On the top of the fuselage here, we can see the SATCOM. Or the Wi-Fi dome that is used to provide the IFE on board the engine. Of course, IFE standing for in-flight entertainment. Uh, and the screens behind each of the seats. Very cool indeed. Here we have, I believe, where a, a, a um, antenna would be. But there is an antenna there. Here is the registration, Alpha 7-Bravo Alpha Charlie and the Qatari flag next to it. Here is a, a um, uh, an antenna below on the bottom of the fuselage here. And here is the L5 door there. And, and, uh, 
It could be used via for boarding the aircraft via the apron of an airport, or even disembarking onto the apron to be loaded onto buses and then transported to the airport's terminal. And then looking at the tail fin here, looking absolutely elegant indeed on with this logo on it. Uh, I do. I must say, I do quite like this retro livery on the triple seven. Does suit it quite a lot. Uh, I wonder if Qatar Airways would would put this livery on a seven eight seven, uh, one of their seven eight seven dash nines or something, or even an A three fifty. That would look quite cool. Um, but anyway, here is the the, ta the tail fin in the burgundy uh, background here, and the uh, the retro Oryx logo there, looking fantastic indeed. In the middle of the shot here, we can see the the tail lights there. They are used to light up the tail fin during night operations to give a visual indication to the ATC about what the, who the airline is and, uh, and to uh, help out the pilots in, around the vicinity of an airfield. Um, so that's pretty cool there. And of course, to, to provide a marketing tool to anyone within or around an airport to maybe give them the idea to maybe fly the airline uh, or on an, an aircraft of, of the airline that's uh, quite cool to know and there's also one on the other side there in the middle of the shot there and here is the APU otherwise known as the uh, auxiliary power unit for the Boeing 777 uh, the 777 is quite um, um, just it is quite easy to uh, identify whether it is a 777 or not because the APU is, is a wedge shape, as you can see. Not too sure what the prongs are. Pretty sure JC Wings were going to to um, uh, fix that to make it squarer. But I mean, as it is, you can see it is quite um, wedged there. And of course, the APU is on, only on one side of, the, of this uh, tail plane here. But that is an easy way to identify a 777 or not. It is uh, the same for all of the variants, whether it is for the 200, 200ER, 200LR, um, or the 777-300ER. Um, but here is the other side of the aircraft before we go ahead and look at the bottom of the aircraft. As you can see, uh, the only real differences on this side of the aircraft is that the text on the bottom stripe, we can see it is English, and on the top is on top of the cable windows is in Arabic. Here is the forward baggage compartment here and at the back we could see there we have the rear baggage compartment and another one just beside that. On the end of the wing here if I can just get it into shot to focus on it. it is quite difficult to focus with the airport mat in the background for you guys. Uh, on the end of this wing here, it is a green navigation light. Can't quite get it to focus on it. There we go. You can just make it out in the middle of the shot there. The green navigation light. Here is the number 2 GE90. Looking absolutely fantastic indeed. This model is outstanding. Would highly recommend anyone to get it. If they can get their hands on one, of course, I think JC Wings released a flaps down version as well. On the bottom of the aircraft, before we go ahead and conclude today's video, here we have on the bottom of the aircraft, if I am able to just get it to focus. Here we have at the front, we have the 777-300ER titles there. Here we have the, I am having great difficulty in focusing on this model for you guys just might just zoom back a bit so on the the bottom of the aircraft here we can see the nose gear door here that those would fold out when the aircraft's gears retract into the aircraft after takeoff here we have the belly markings here the iconic uh, Qatar belly markings there just like most airlines these days having their their billboard titles on their belly. Very cool. In the A of the first A of Qatar, we can see the beacon light. And on the the uh, the, the backward part of the A, or the right hand side, we can see the stand hole there. Here we have nice details of the GE90 looking fantastic indeed. And the details on the bottom of the wing looking fantastic. Here is the size. 
uh, landing gear and the other side on the bottom of this wing we can see the registration Alpha 7 dash Bravo Alpha Charlie absolutely fantastic indeed this red lot or box here or rectangle rectangular box is where the rat would be the ram air turbine in the event of a, uh, a, a maybe a emergency shutdown of the engines they need to, they need some more power to, to to be provided in the flight also it was used the ram air turbine was used during the event of testing as well um it's sort of like a, a propeller that comes down to provide more uh, power to the aircraft and here is the rear baggage compartment and of course the forward baggage compartment just here and at the end of the aircraft we can see the entryway to the APU overall it is a fantastic model um, I would definitely recommend anyone to get it if you can get your hands on one um, of course this is the JC Wings Qatar Airways Retro 777 300ER looking fantastic indeed if you want to wait until Gem, uh, either Gemini Jets or NG Models decides to release it you're more than welcome to I would definitely recommend this one if you are wanting it in your collection immediately um, but there we go that is the model review of the 777-300ER Qatar Airways retro livery by a JC Wings in one to four scale. Do comment below what you thought about today's video. Uh, what if you got this model yourself in your collection? Um, if you've flown this aircraft or if you've spotted the aircraft, do let me know in the comments below. Now, if you are wanting to go ahead and uh, support my social channels, on the screen now will be the QR code to be scanned for my uh, Instagram page. That, of course, is uh, Ash International Airport's main. Uh, hub for social media and as well as this YouTube channel on the Instagram page I post all of the model photos the news about new services for uh, in and out of the airport uh, soon enough I will be uh, uploading some uh, some big news for uh, my brand in general whether it is uh, Instagram on Twitter now known as X, YouTube and other um, social media outlets so if you are wanting to check out all of my um, social media channels go ahead and, and scan the QR code on the screen now to be led to my Linktree account uh, but yeah uh, uh, go ahead and support me on Instagram as well that was that, that would help me out in terms of the, my movements on social media and of course to be uh, um, um, Provided all the information that you need to know about the ins and outs of my airport. Um, so coming soon to this YouTube channel will be the uh, the model review of the American Airlines 777 by NG Models, the ITA Airways A350-900 by Aviation 400, and of course the Gemini Jet 200 C5M Super Galaxy. A model review of that one will be coming out very, very soon. And of course the airport update, you may have seen some models around the airport in this video. They will be in the airport update coming very, very soon to this channel. So stay, stay tuned for the content coming up very, very soon, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Give this video a thumbs up to help me moving forward at, at, on this channel as well. And of course go ahead and ding that bell icon to be notified when videos go live on this channel in the future. Thank you very much for coming along and joining me today. If you would like to see some more content on this channel like this, on the left hand side of soon enough will be my most recent video on this channel. On the right hand side will be the full playlist of model reviews I've done so far on this channel. In the middle is where you can subscribe. But until next time guys, fly safe, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.